I still might get an iPhone. Especially if it's going to be compatible with the future. And what I mean by that is GSM and CDMA are no longer going to clash with each other. Instead, they're going to be ejected. They're going to be replaced by a long-term standard called LTE, or Long-Term Evolution. This is the successor to GSM, and here in the States it'll be the successor to CDMA from the looks of an article that I read. Verizon, apparently, is testing it right now, and they hope to have it up and running by sometime either next year or in 2011. And let's hope by then that Apple decides to get a flash on the camera of the iPhone. But we'll see. For now, I want to read you the article. I will post a link to the article in the description. This is a little bit old, but based on more recent information I've read, this doesn't seem to be too far off from what's going on. Here's the drill. Verizon Wireless to adopt LTE for 4G. This was on the 6th of December, 2007. Verizon Wireless plans to adopt the long-term evolution LTE technology as its fourth-generation wireless technology. This move would make it on par with global majors like AT&T and other European telecom majors. According to a report, LTE is a new wireless standard that the global GSM players are fast adopting for their growth beyond the current 3G systems. The adoption of LTE for 4G would also mean that Verizon Wireless is thinking beyond the Qualcomm CDMA 2000 standard. The move also comes following pressure from part owner Vodafone to fall in line with the more globally popular GSM evolution. So in other words, Vodafone is saying, look, you can't be your own man anymore. Start adopting GSM or something like it or we'll kick your butts. So it looks like they decided to clam up and do it. Anyway, uh, back to the article. However, the report added, Verizon Wireless is not planning to move away from its CDMA network, from its current CDMA network, the excuse me. Now. Um, what the movement means, according to the report, is that its next network, Europe's, ne Europe's next networks, and AT&T's network will all be built on the same technology. So by the end of 2010, there will be a much wider, wider variety of hardware available for Verizon Wireless customers. Analysts foresee a different mobile world by 2011. After Verizon Wireless, many others like T-Mobile are expected to tow this to tow this line. By 2011, is it it is expected that people will be able to buy the same devices and hook them up to Verizon Wireless's AT&T's or T-Mobile's networks. With Verizon Wireless, AT&T, and European carriers aligned, the mobile users will get to see and experience more devices, less expensive devices, and more choice of service plans. Now let me explain. Over in Europe, they've been able to choose their phones and lock them with any carriers they wish, but it's been expensive, okay? Uh, we do actually luck out here in the States in some way because we pay a lot less for our devices because of the devices being subsidized on contract. Over in Europe, because of the fact that you don't necessarily commit to contract with the exception of the iPhone and possibly a few others, um, you have to pay full retail price, and a lot of times that can get to be expensive. So that's actually a positive for us that will actually start to be able to, like, I could take an iPhone and put it on Verizon without anybody saying anything. Um... And Europe will be able to continue with their unlocked freedom while at the same time being able to pay a lot less for it. So this is the future, and this is what I'm very excited about. Now, I'm still debating whether or not to get an iPhone, and if I do, um, one little thought in my head is thus. If the LTE standard can be acquired through a software update and not so much a hardware update, though mark my words, I very seriously doubt that, 
um, because it's such a new technology, if it can be adopted through a software update, once I'm done with, once that's a, um, excuse me, I can't speak, once that is standard, I can just take my iPhone from AT&T and put it on Verizon without any issues. So this is the future and this is fantastic. I, I only wish that they'd, that they'd adopted this sooner. Now, what that means for Verizon and, and possibly Sprint customers, if Sprint should fall into line as well, is the following. You will be introduced to a technology called the Subscriber Information Module, should they choose to keep that. In other words, you will no longer have your provider program your phone for you. Instead, they will program a memory card that's about this big, and on that memory card contain will be your contacts, your phone number, and the other necessary information to activate your phone. In some instances, it will also contain your calendar appointments. Now, this can be backed up, but only backed up. It cannot be read um, by a PC or a Mac. Now, what that means is, if you want to swap phones, you just take your memory, you, you take your SIM card, and move it to another device. Now, for CDMA carriers who have been CDMA their whole life, who have been Verizon and Sprint their whole life, with the exception of those that travel for business and are used to the GSM standard, this might be a little bit foreign. A lot of people don't understand what a SIM card is. And a lot of people don't even think to keep their SIM card and move it from phone to phone for those that are on the GSM networks. Um, SIM, the subscriber information module offers a lot of convenience. And by adopting the standard that is based on GSM and using the SIM card, should that continue, um, you know, that means that you can just take any device, put the card on it, you know, uh, the, the provider, what you'll do, what you'll do here in the States is, is um, what Europe's done. In other words, they go out and buy a phone from Nokia. Then they go to Vodafone and buy the SIM for it. With the exception of few phones, with the, ex with the exception of a few phones, the BlackBerry Storm on Vodafone and the iPhone on O2, there are a lot of phones that are unlocked that are non-carrier specific. Um, so you just pair it with whatever SIM you want. Now here in the States, um, you are pretty much locked in if you're a CDMA customer. The exception to which is if you're on Sprint, you want to use. If you're on Verizon and you want to use a Sprint phone, you can do that. But they are so far the only company to have done this. Sprint is not going to do that. Um, at least I don't think they are. I haven't heard anything. But yeah, um, once LTE is adopted, I think things will get better for all of us in the in the mobile phone industry. So iPhone adopters. I would say hang on to your devices. Now, if you, by, any, by some strange twist of fate, still have an iPhone first generation, I will guarantee you that you will need to get a new device. But if you went out and purchased an iPhone 3GS over the last two days, um, provided, once again, provided it can be done through a software upgrade, if you are sick of AT&T, you can just move to Verizon with your iPhone and think nothing of it. So, uh, that's the future. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice day.